Hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, our first session for solar energy application. Uh, this is part one, uh, which is about an introduction to renewable energy. My name is Farza Jafar Kazimi. I, uh, I am your instructor in this course. Uh, let's uh, start with the definition of renewables. What are renewables? Based on Oxford Dictionary, a natural resource or source of energy that is not depleted by use. This means that it will not be finished as you use it, such as the energy in water, wind, or the energy from solar. And according to the Cambridge Dictionary, these are types of energy, such as wind and sun and others, that can be replaced as quickly as they are used. So, this is the meaning of renewable energy. But what are the sources for renewable energy? There are actually six sources for renewable energy, as you can see here in this slide. These are bioenergy, geothermal energy, hydroenergy, ocean energy, solar energy, and wind energy. Uh, each of these energy sources, as you can see in the slide, may be divided or classified into some subcategories. Let's uh, start first by introducing you uh, to a very informative resource which you can use to know more about renewable energy. This is a website uh, from REN21. Uh, you can see the link at the bottom of the page. Here you can see ran21.net and uh, there is a, a report which they publish each year. The last one is Global Status Report 2020 and uh, the new one uh, will be released just, uh, just within a week I think because and now we are in June 2021 and uh, I advise you to register in the website to receive the latest news whenever, uh, whenever released the new uh, 2021 GSR I will inform you and I also may produce uh, a short presentation for the key topics uh, okay let's uh, go back to the uh, energy renewable energy classification let's uh, start with bioenergy the first type of renewable energy is bioenergy and as you can see here bioenergy can be used uh, to produce electricity to produce heat and also for the biofuels so bioenergy can be used uh, to produce electricity and heat either or biofuels what is the source or feedstocks for the bioenergy? As you can see here, there are a lot of feedstocks for bioenergy. For example, algal feedstocks, corn cellulose, crop residues. This means material left on the field after crop harvesting. Especially dedicated energy crops, which uh, these are the crops that are specific grown for bioenergy production. Another important source for bioenergy is municipal solid waste, which is a huge source of energy. And oils, fats and greases are another source. You may be heard about this. And a woody biomass is also a very important source for the renewable energy. You can read the information and explanation below each one later. And as you can see here, but these um, resources, uh, you can uh, have different combination. This is just one in this in this method. Uh, in an anaerobic digestion device or digester, you can produce uh, uh, biogas uh, or other gases, as you can see here, which are to be used for transport, for heating, and producing electricity. 
There may be some other residual gases like CO2 and an important thing here you can see is that another byproduct of the system is a biofertilizer which may be used for agricultural purposes. In Iraq uh, there are some feedstocks for the biomass energy. This is a paper, you may refer to this paper, evaluation of solid biomass fuel for some Iraqi agricultural waste using proximate and ultimate analysis. For example, read the stock. Dodona trees, corn, sunflower seeds and kernel of date. Uh, these are just some of the uh, biomass resources which may be used in Iraq. You may uh, yourself do research on the subject if you are interested. The next source of renewable energy is geothermal energy which is the energy from the earth. This is a picture from uh, this is a slice from the earth's interior as you can see here there's a crust and then there's a mantle which is magma and rock the outer core which includes magma and inner core. The point here is that when you go deep into the earth, toward the center of the earth, the temperature will be increased and uh, the temperature may increase to a degree that you may use it for producing heat. For example, if you go deep adequately, the temperature may reach even 200, 300 and more degrees C. In this method, uh, uh, within a uh, by-production well, as you can see here, uh, steam or hot water may be taken from the depth of the earth and then directed to a separator as an example. In the separator, steam and water are separated from each other. The steam goes to a conventional steam system, a steam power producing system or a ranking cycle and the water here and also the water which condenses here in the condenser uh, can be sent back to the earth via the re-injection well. This is just one of the systems which may be used. There are a lot of system combination available. The problem, the main problem here is that you may use the energy within the earth. Uh, in Iran, we have just one uh, geothermal plant in Meshkin Shahr, which as you can see here in the map, is located at the northwestern part of Iran, in the Savalan mountain region. Uh, you can see here the map of uh, volcanic zones and faults, and um, fortunately or unfortunately, there is a straight relationship, there is a direct relationship between the zones of volcanic stresses and also the geothermal energy. As you can see here, we have different parts in Iran. Actually in Iraq, as I know, there is just a small area and uh, based on this reference, which you may download the full report here, um, these are the data, the very simple data regarding the Iraq uh, geothermal resource. There are a lot of papers and research about that, for example, geothermal energy and possibility of use it in Iraq, which is written by Hassan Jassim, and also a review on geothermal potential of hot spots in Iraq using geophysics and petroleum well information. These are just uh, some of the references. These are put here just to open your mind about the uh, papers and research which are available and you may continue them yourself for finding more, uh, more papers. The third uh, renewable energy resource is hydroenergy. Regarding the hydroenergy, there are some discussions uh, that if we shall put hydroenergy within the renewable energy uh, technologies or not. And uh, the result is that generally large hydropower plants are not included in the renewable energy, uh, but small hydro plants and specialized hydro plants are within the renewable energy. 
sector. Uh, the basics for hydropower is simple, as you may know, if you have a bulk uh, of water at a height of H, for example, the power which is produced by, uh, by flowing the water at here, at, the, at, at a at lower depth, for example, H from the higher elevation, here you can see that is Q, which is the flow rate and h which a flow rate here may be in cubic meter per second h which as you can see in the figure is the difference in height based in meter efficiency of the plant and this is just a conversion factor then you may have the kilowatt power which you may take from this system there are different types of turbines and uh, these may be classified as for example ra radial turbines axial turbines and mixed for example pelton type of turbine which is a radial turbine and needs a high head while the Kaplan turbine which is an axial one generally needs a high flow rate uh, the simplest type of hydropower plant is a storage hydropower plant in this type of hydropower plant which is the most common as you can see in the slide generally there is a large um, dam here at the upside and uh, through the four bay and uh, then from the penstock the water is directed to the turbine which is placed here and the turbine produces power by connecting it to the generator the next type of hydropower plant which is a very interesting one is pumped storage hydropower pumped storage hydropower in the pumped storage hydropower you have two reservoirs one is the upper reservoir and the other is lower reservoir whenever there is a there is not a high demand in the grid in the power grid then you may push the water as you can see here by the gray arrow here to a pump to the upper reservoir from the lower reservoir to the upper reservoir and held it there hold it there for future use when is the future use when there is a peak demand in the grid for example in the summer afternoon or evening uh, in the peak times in the peak times of the grid you can direct the water from the upper reservoir to the lower one as you can see by the yellow arrow and the turbine here then can produce uh, power this is a very interesting type of hydropower plant which is named pumped storage the third part of hydropower plant is runoff river hydropower in this uh, system as you can see here water is diverted from a river for example to a new channel as you can see here and the remaining is similar to the conventional hydropower plant the main difference here with the storage type is that there is no storage here uh, the next type of uh, hydropower plant which is newly used in the cities generally is the in-pipe turbine. You know that there are some cities that there is a height difference between different parts of the city. In this system you may put turbines like the one you can see here in the pipes and instead of using a PRV or a pressure reduction valve to decrease the pressure to be uh, which is which is uh, which is usable in the for example household uh, you may use a turbine in pipe turbine and the turbine uh, while reduces the pressure produces power also and this is a very good idea to produce power at the same time that you reduce the line pressure this is a very interesting and uh, i think this will have a lot of application both in cities and other areas in iraq you know that hydropower has an important role um, alongside the other uh, energy resources for example thermal power plants gas turbine diesel hydro also plays an important role in role in iraq based on the map shown here taken from Iraq Ministry of Electricity 
these are the list of hydropower plant large hydropower plants in Iraq uh, again if you want to know more about the hydropower in Iraq these are just some of the references for example present and future for hydropower plant development in Kurdistan of Iraq and um, World Small Hydropower Development Report 2019 uh, this is for Asia and also Iraq is included in this report again I would just want to emphasize that these are just some of the references and there are a lot lot more reference uh, in this area you can do research for that this is also a very good introduction for hydropower energy in Iraq if you are interested in you may download the file just um, uh, just do google it for example hydropower energy in Iraq and uh, also write the name of Muhammad, Dr. Muhammad Alevi uh, and then I think that you may uh, download uh, the report this is also a very good introductory report for the hydropower in Iraq the fourth type of renewable energy resource is energy from ocean as you can see here and also here in this slide there are six main types of uh, ocean uh, the, the methods actually which you can take energy from the sea and ocean these are rise and fall of the water surface in night and day which is tidal energy energy from the waves in the oceans and seas energy from tidal streams energy from ocean currents energy from thermal ocean thermal this means that there is a temperature difference between the different depths in an ocean and you may take use of this temperature difference to produce energy salinity gradient the meaning of salinity gradient salinity is the amount of salt actually in the in the water which is different in different depths and by this difference uh, in salinity uh, you may produce energy also you may do research about that yourself because these are not uh, these do not have a large share in the renewable energy but if you are interested you may do research yourself the fifth uh, energy renewable energy resource which is the topic of our course and we will discuss about that in depth a lot more later is solar energy as you can see here solar energy may be used to produce uh, electricity which is solar pv or photovoltaic which may be used in the concentrating solar system and also may be used for solar heating let's start by solar pv in the solar pv system as you know there is the pv panel or pv module as you can see here and then there may be battery and charge controller also and then the user which is the lamp here or here uh, this is the off-grid system as you can see uh, the off-grid system means that the system is not connected to the power grid the other system uh, which is a grid connected system is connected to the power grid for different purposes for example you may want to sell the energy which is produced to the grid or combine them to for the personal use we will discuss about that later but for the moment please learn this uh, that there are two main types of system the first is off grid and the next is on grid system the next application for solar energy is concentrating solar power in this type of system you concentrate the solar power to a line or to a point for example here is a system which the solar energy or radiation is concentrated into a point as you can see here there are other systems like the linear Fresnel collector or parabolic true corrector which uh, concentrate the solar energy into a line we will discuss also about this later and the next application for solar energy is to heat something generally uh, the media which is heated is water but 
there are also other possibilities available for example you may heat air as an example but water heating is the main application for solar energy in heating these are pictures from solar water heaters solar water heaters are used to heat water which then may be used for domestic water heating or even for space heating or other applications for example dryers or cooling even we will discuss about these also later okay is there any potential for solar energy in Iraq yes as you can see here in the picture uh, Iraq has also a very good energy solar energy potential yes it's in the, for example you may find more solar energy uh, if you compare uh, the f with the colors here in Saudi Arabia for example in some parts of the in the northern part of Africa for example in Chile in the Australia but again or even with the southern part of Iran but again you can see that the solar energy potential in Iraq is much more than for example in Turkey or many European countries uh, this is a zoom in picture from the previous one uh, which shows the global horizontal irradiation the meaning of global horizontal irradiation we will discuss later but for the time being please consider this as the solar energy potential the meaning is somewhat more complicated but it's okay to consider global horizontal irradiation as the uh, solar energy which is available in the horizontal surface in different parts of Iraq and as you can see as you come down and go to the west the solar energy in your country is increased so that for example in these areas you have a lot of solar energy okay uh, based on the reports from the Ministry of Electricity Iraqi Ministry of Electricity there are a lot of plans for investment in solar energy I'm not sure how many percentage of these plans has came into reality but as you can see here there were plans for example to uh, install about uh, 2695 megawatt of solar photovoltaic plants in Iraq if you want to know more about solar energy in Iraq again I want just uh, to introduce some references this is a very interesting book uh, uh, the title is generating electricity using photovoltaic solar plants in Iraq uh, written by Tariq Chaichan and Professor Kazan uh, this is a paper solar energy status in Iraq uh, this is written in 2016 and there is also a paper here the exploration of western and southern deserts in Iraq there are a lot more references there are a lot more references you may do research yourself about them and the uh, final uh, energy renewable energy resource is the wind energy as you can see here wind energy uh, can be taken from the onshore plant or offshore plant as you can see in the <coughs> onshore plant or offshore the difference is that one of them is located within the oceans or sea and the other is located on the dry land or shoreline uh, turbines also can be classified based on the mechanical structure the main type of classification is classifying turbines into horizontal axis whereas you can see the axis of the turbine is horizontal or vertical axis where the turbine axis is in a vertical position uh, the main difference between these two is that um, vertical axis turbines uh, can rotate irrespective of the wind direction uh, while these should head to the wind the next difference is that uh, generally um, excluding this type which is a drag type and generally it is not used today is that uh, horizontal axis turbines can be manufactured in a much much more 
uh, capacities than the vertical axis turbines. Generally, vertical axis turbines are manufactured just in small capacities. Again, regarding the potential in Iraq for wind energy, as you can see here, there's a map showing the wind velocity. In at a specific, you know, wind velocity generally is drawn at a, a specific height. For example, this is at a height of 100 meter above the ground surface, and the colors here uh, show the wind velocity based on the table here. Uh, as you can see here. Uh, Iraq, in some parts of the Iraq, we have a good potential for wind energy also. Again, if you want to know more about the wind energy in Iraq, there is a very old paper, an interesting one, which is the wind energy potential in Iraq. There are also a lot more, for example, assessment potential wind energy in the northern area of Iraq or predicting uh, wind speed and different um, uh, uh, other papers, which you can find yourself. Again, I want just to emphasize that if you, want, if you want to know more about renewable energy status in the world, including Iraq, you may refer to the RAN21.net, GSR 2020, and also GSR 2021, which will be released within the next one week, uh, on actually on uh, 15th of June. Generally, in this report, different aspects are covered, like the one you can see here as a list. And the uh, final note is that what is the share of renewable energy in the world? Actually, as I told before, renewable energy can be used to produce heat, to produce electricity, and also fuel. That this is just uh, regarding the electricity production based on the GSR 2020. The, at the end of 2019, the world uh, share uh, the uh, share of renewable energy in electricity production in the world is 27.3 percent. The other 72 percent is produced by non-renewable resources. And if you did use the large power plants I, I explained it before uh, which is 15.9 the remaining uh, which is actually 11.3 percent is devoted to the new renewable which includes wind power 6 percent solar pv 2.8 biopower 2.2 and the other 0.4 to geothermal csv ocean and others uh, so, currently, uh, actually we should wait uh, some more days actually uh, up to the 15th of June for the new release of GSR 2021 to see what is the world average uh, in 2020. But, uh, but uh, for the time being, around 11% of the world electricity is produced from renewable energy. Uh, if you want to know more about uh, solar energy and renewable energy in Iraq, these are also very good introductory notes. You may download, just, just Google the titles, as you can see here, and you may download these references. Uh, there is also another uh, very good resource, which is EIA. Uh, uh, through the EIA in the Iraq sector, in the international sector, you may search for Iraq and then there are a lot of information about the energy resources in I Iraq. You can see here, for example, uh, some uh, informative notes. Uh, again, here is a data source for the renewable energy in Iraq. This is the site of our world in data. This is the link you can see here. Our world in data, energy, country, and then look for Iraq. There are uh, also good information about the electricity sector in Iraq in the Wikipedia. Uh, there's a very good uh, website, iraqenergy.org. In this site, you can see also a lot of information about the Iraq energy. I found a very good informative note uh, about, the, um, about the Ministry of Electricity plan for renewable energy. Uh, it is downloadable. Uh, you may go to this website and download the report. It is a very interesting report, I think. 
And uh, the main source of energy uh, for you, I think, is the website for the Vezarat al Kahraba or Ministry of Electricity in Iraq. In this website, you can cite, uh, find a lot of information. For example, in the e-services, there's a, a part here about the renewable energy services. And you may click on that to see what is in the website. Uh, in the website of IEA, you may find also a lot of more information about the energy situation in Iraq. IEA stands for International Energy Agency. In this website, you may find a lot of information about Iraq. Another very informative uh, resource and very inf important resource is the IRENA website. IRENA stands for International Renewable Energy Agency. International Renewable Energy Agency. This is the website. I ask you to go to this website and um, do uh, uh, and and you know each week. I think uh, within. Uh, Within a week, you should uh, go to this website and see what's happening in the renewable energy sector in the world, because this is actually the main resource for renewable energy. For example, this is a report by IRENA regarding the energy profile of Iraq. I downloaded it from the IRENA website. You may go through the details. And uh, finally, this is a homework for you. The first question is what is the share of each type of renewable energy, each of the six types, and what is the renewable energy rules and regulations in your country. Please send your answer to below email before the end of June 2021. 20, this is my email. Please note that uh, you should uh, mention the subject as this because if you do not put uh, write the subject correctly, I may miss your email, you know. Uh, please write the subject as I shown here. If uh, you write your, there is no, there is no, re, there is no uh, indication for typing the answer. You can do it handwritten even. But, but in any case, if it, it is more than one page, please number the pages. For example, page one from three, page two from three, page three from three and then combine the files into one file, okay? Uh, and attach. Please note that the file format shall be PDF. Okay, thank you. This is the end of our today's session. Take care and bye.